week, friends. Happy Sunday, and welcome to Children's Church. So, you're not going to see much of me in this week's online episode of Children's Church because I've decided that Miss Nicole's going to take a break from teaching this week, and I'm going to let my friends in in-person Children's Church teach you our lesson this week. But I just wanted to say hi and good evening, and I hope you've had a very good Sunday and I hope that you enjoy our lesson. So I'm gonna let my friends, my little friends take over, and I will be back at the very, very end to wrap things up. So my sweet friends, take our lesson away for tonight. Jesus responds, my light will shine for you just a little longer. Walk in the light while you can, so the darkness will not overtake you. Those who walk in the darkness cannot see. There they are going. Put your trust in the light while there is still time, and you will become children of the light. After saying these things, Jesus went away and was hidden from them. Oh, this is my friend, Tinley Upchurch. And how old is Tinley? I forgot, really. Ten. Ten, okay. And Tinley is one of the young people who is helping me teach children's church today. And what gift of hope have we been talking about today, Tinley? Love. Love, that's exactly right. So we're going to play a little game, me and you, Tinley, okay? I'm going to tell you something that might be going on with a friend of yours. And then I want you to tell me how you might help them feel better and show them love. Can we do that? Okay. So imagine your bestest friend, okay? Think of your best friend. Does your best friend get good grades? I figured that. Okay. So your best friend studied really hard for this test. And she thought she was going to do good and she really wanted to do good. But then she got a D on her test. And she was very sad and very disappointed in herself. How would you help her and show her love? I don't know. You don't know? Well, if you were sad and disappointed, what would make you feel better? Maybe just like tell one of my friends tell me that it's not going to be the end of the world. Like you can, it's still, you can still try again later in life. That's so good because you know what, Tinley? Is it okay to not be okay sometimes? And is it okay to mess up sometimes? Exactly. So sometimes, you're exactly right. Sometimes people just really need to hear that it's okay that things didn't go as planned because they think it's the end of the world, but they needed to remi be reminded that it's really not, right? Right, exactly, very good. Tell the friends out there, bye. bye. This is my friend Cohen Rigsby, by the way, people out in children's church world. And how old is Cohen? 11. 11. You're older than Tinley, did you realize that? When's your birthday, Tinley? February. Okay, so you're fixing to be 11 here soon then, okay. When's your birthday, Cohen? September, okay. All right, so Cohen is 11. All right, Cohen, same thing as Tinley. We've been talking about what gift of love this week? Or gift of Advent this week, I'm sorry. Love, exactly right. So I'm going to give you a scenario, and then you tell me what you would do to make that person feel better, okay? All right, so we are going to imagine that you're playing basketball, because you play basketball, right, Cohen? Okay. You're playing basketball. And it's a really important game. And it's the fourth quarter. And y'all have played so hard. And one of your guys who's really good at shooting layups um, fouls out of the game. So he's out of the game. And it's a really close score. And y'all really, really, really need to score. And this team you're playing, a good way to score is to go in and drive for a layup, okay? So the guy who usually does them fouls out. So another player who usually doesn't do this has to come in and fill his spot, and he is so nervous that he's going to do something wrong. So what do you tell him to make him feel better? So just try to do his best, because sometimes trying to do your best. Very, very, very good job to all of my great helpers that were with me at in-person Children's Church today. So what's our lesson that we need to remember most this week about the gift of love? I think it's to remember what gift that gift can give. When 
Christ was born and the love of God was put into human form, we were given a Savior. A Savior who would later die on the cross and be resurrected for us. And someone that we can reach out to in times when we need love and we're not feeling very loved by the world. But when you know the love of God, the love of Jesus Christ in your heart, your job, and you have a job, I hate to tell you, but you do, is to love others. And why? Why is that loving others thing so important? Because of what it gives them. Because that gift of love, when you show it to others, gives those other gifts that we've talked about, joy, hope, and peace, to some people who might not have very much joy, hope, and peace. Some people who might feel like the world is very dark, but the world is not very dark ever, even though it might seem that way, because we have the light, the light that is Jesus Christ. And when you show love to them, the love of Jesus, guess what? If their world is very dark at that time, you, yes you, can bring light into their world and give them that joy, hope, and peace, and most of all, love that everybody needs in their life. So I hope you guys have the very best week. It's going to be Christmas the next time I talk to you, and I hope you guys are lights wherever you go this week. Show that light and show that love, and Miss Nicole will see you next time. I love you so much, my friends. Bye.